Today I am going to extract pure gold from this mixed metal ingot. For this project I purchased this bar from overseas which claims to be melted down computer pins. To begin I add the bar to a 500 milliliter beaker along with some dilute nitric acid. Give it some heat. After a few minutes some bubbling can be seen along with faint blue. This indicates the presence of copper, which is expected. To this I'll add a lot more dilute nitric acid and let as much dissolve as possible. Nitric acid easily dissolves copper, silver, lead, or any other metal that would be in here but it cannot dissolve gold. This way I can remove the majority of any non-gold metal in solution and leave as much behind as possible. At this point the solution is very saturated so I decide to pour it off and add fresh water and nitric acid. Just like before I will heat this to near boiling to dissolve as much metal as possible. While my metal is dissolving I decide to filter off any undissolved impurities from my gold-free solution by passing it through a coffee filter. The resulting solution is clear and ready for further processing. After a while the nitric acid is no longer able to dissolve my bar, which means the exposed surface is nearly all gold. To get things moving I add a bit of concentrated hydrochloric acid. This will shift green as copper nitrate is converted to copper chloride. Some gold will also be dissolved here as the addition of hydrochloric acid forms a solution called aqua regia. Aqua regia is able to dissolve gold by upsetting the equilibrium between nitric acid and gold metal. Nitric acid alone can only dissolve a tiny amount of gold, which is nearly instantly converted back into gold metal. The addition of hydrochloric acid shifts this equilibrium right by reacting with the gold ions to form yellow chlororic acid. I only boil this a few minutes before pouring off and filtering it like my last solution. This time the addition of nitric acid and hydrochloric acid results in a bright yellow gold solution. I continue heating the aqua region near boiling to dissolve all the gold I can. I think the golden bubbles it makes look very cool. This continues to react over the next few hours until all the gold is completely dissolved. Further additions of nitric acid are required when the reaction stops. This is done to minimize nitric acid use, both because it is expensive and also because it is hard to dispose of when this is done. Not to mention, nitric acid produces very harmful nitrogen dioxide gas which even in my fume hood is unpleasant to be around. After a few hours it is finally finished. Now I will filter this all off and dilute. Next I need to remove all the dissolved metals from solution and separate them. For deep talk this will be done in part. Follow to see it. Now to resume extracting pure gold. To start, I am going to add hot concentrated urea to my dissolved metal solution. The urea will react with excess nitric acid and convert it to urea nitrate. This will prevent toxic gases from being released in further steps. Before I go further, I want to clarify that it's become clear to me at this point I won't be getting much gold from this little bar. That said, only continue watching if you're interested in the rest of the process and to compare the actual contents to the eBay ad. Anyway, my next step is to simply add some sodium metabisulfite to reduce the solution and hopefully precipitate some solid gold metal. You can see the solution turns yellow over time. I'm now going to repeat the process with my low gold batch and this one reacts violently for some reason. 
You can begin to see some sparkly specks precipitate out, and I have no idea what those are. At this point I simply allow both solutions to settle overnight. In the morning both solutions are green with some residue at the bottom, which I want to test before I proceed. My first test is with sodium hydroxide, and the precipitate is green, which indicates the presence of nickel. My second test is with 30% ammonia and it turns blue. This means copper is present. My final test is with potassium frocyanide which turns brownish red. This indicates no iron is present, but zinc and copper are. To get rid of the copper first I decant all my fluid into a beaker and add aluminum foil. Aluminum is a strong reducing agent and will precipitate copper metal from solution. You can see the copper metal raining down. My low gold solution is obviously a no gold solution so I add sodium hydroxide to precipitate red copper oxide. This is allowed to settle while I move on to my other batch. The black junk here is most likely nickel sulfide, which only reacts with nitric acid. My plan is to redissolve all this in aqua regia and then precipitate it using sodium hydroxide. A massive excess hydroxide with some sodium metabisulfite will leave zinc and nickel in solution while precipitating copper and gold. Here I am adding metabisulfite pellets, and in the next I'm adding hydroxide. This will turn the solution a deep green due to the soluble nickel and zinc hydroxides. While that's heating up I'll filter and collect all my precipitated copper. This is all the copper. The massive quantity makes it clear the bar was mostly copper. Now I'll go filter the gold and see how much I got. This is done in a small funnel through a very thick filter paper to make sure nothing gets through. And this is what I'm left with. The gold is the small yellow specks in the copper. There isn't enough here to bother keeping, but given the unexpected interest in this topic I'll get some computer pins and get some real gold very soon. As for what was actually in this bar, I calculated it was roughly 75% copper, 18% nickel, 6% zinc, and a trace quantity of gold. These are various salts and solutions from these metals, and even though I didn't get gold I think these are beautiful cope. The rest of the video is just me trying to further process the tiny flecks of gold, and the original eBay posting for the gold. Watch if you're interested, and follow for more.